huge eruption of the Shishaldin volcano in the U.S. state of the Alaska has created a huge ash plume. The ash plume was after this uh, seismic activity, which is uh, visible, intense activity tremors, and this has created an aviation alert because the ash plume has risen to the level of the 30,000 feet, equal to 9 kilometers, and creating a cloud of ash, which actually endangers the aviation. You can see it on the world map. This is the sulfur dioxide map of the eruptions, as you can see. We have it over the Shisholding, also a Beko volcano in the and all the other volcanoes in the Kamchatka are erupting. We have a wildfire in the states of the uh, Washington states and the British Columbia state of Canada. And uh, these have uh, all created this uh, sulfur dioxide signature. The volcano is quite in, uh, interesting in that sense that in the last eruptions, we were witnessing a, a deep, uh, actually summit crater on the volcano, visible easily. And I'll show you here now. And in the current eruption, that deep caldera has disappeared, or filled up actually, with lava. And what we see now is a volcanic dome, or scoria, a scoria, uh, you know, buildup of material there. This is a kind of, you know, uh, frothy material, frothy basaltic or dacite material, or andesite, depending on the composition. Um, material which just filled the summit and this blocks the eruption of the volcano and when it wants to erupt it has to erupt in a very explosive way this is a volcano 2856 meters which considering that this uh, Unimac island is the biggest island of the um, US uh, Aleutian Islands is uh, actually quite huge for that scale. This is from the sea level. This is a big island. It's part of the Ring of Fire, North Pacific Ring of Fire, and on the way of the um, aviation. It is subduction of the oceanic plate under the North American plate creating this. Uh, compared to the size of a, something like the Fegadesville volcano or Sakurajima, the Shishalding is quite huge, but it's dwarfed by a volcano, the tallest volcano in the Eurasia of Mount Damovant. I'll mark all of them as you can see here. Mount Davovand is the biggest one of them, daddy of all of that. Uh, of course, Mount Davovand is in the fumarole state, is not actively erupting at the moment. Shishaldin volcano of the United States of America is a vol stratovolcano 2,800 meters above the sea level. The actual cone we see is a younger structure, it's around 10,000 years old. And it is only 800 meters prominent around itself, around the surrounding plain. Uh, it was originally, like most of stratovolcano, uh, existing a caldera from an older structure. You can see there's some of this uh, around here, these edges. And then on top of it, this newer cone has formed, very steep. You can see the crater inside of it. And it erupts from time to time. Not this time, very much eruption, but uh, usually it erupts. And this material we see around it is piled up because it's very sticky, it stays where it is. It forms a steep cone. It's part of the Aleutian Islands, in the Unimac Island it is there. And part of the Indo-Pacific Ring of Fire, where it happens, uh, it creates uh, some disruption to the air traffic in the North Atlantic, because North uh, Pacific, because this is uh, the quickest route, route. It's due to the subduction of the uh, Pacific Ocean under the Eurasian and North American plate, which are kind of joined actually.